Hey guys, here for another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool lock screen that I've been using lately. It's called Next. And this lock screen is from Microsoft. Yes, here on the Android store. Uh, so first of all, let's go ahead and show you guys how this lock screen works. Um, this is one of those lock screen that when you move from location, it actually changes as well. Like you see here, you got on the go, you got at work, you got at home again and it recognizes your location based off for example on your Wi-Fi when you hook up to your Wi-Fi boom it automatically knows that you're at home or when you're on the car it automatically changes to on the go and all that um, still I think this app is still in beta so keep that in mind uh, another cool feature that it has here is that when you slide up uh, when it's down like this you can see the first five apps which is very good because all you got to do is tap on one of them and it will automatically launch the app like you see there but let's go ahead back let's go ahead close over here and let's go ahead open again uh, right here when you go up you got another set of rows for apps and icons as well or widgets as well uh, like you see here you got you could turn off and on the the toggle for Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, you got the flashlight over here, which is great and handy to have there. Uh, here you got the alarm, which you can set it up. But let's say you want to go ahead and change uh, these apps. You, you could do is tap and hold, and it, they will automatically start wiggling. Or you could tap right there, and from here you could go ahead, for example, let's say I want to eliminate this app, and let's say I want to eliminate, uh, let's say I want to eliminate that app. Now let's go ahead and add some apps. Uh, right here you're going to have a list of apps that you have installed. We could go ahead and install it. Go ahead there and go WWE. Click right there and now you got the apps right there. Like you see there. And of course you can move things around as well. Like you see here you can move things around. And that's it. Um, and keep in mind every time you switch location the apps will also switch as well like see there on the go you get um, apps that are, are related to on the go like for example you got the maps uh, let's say I want to add something else click right there click there click there and let's say I want to add uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, Google Play Music because I use that in the car and there you go you got Google Play Music there and that's it uh, let's go ahead here for settings uh, in wallpaper, you can actually change the wallpaper of every location. At home, you can change the wallpaper on the go and at work. Here, let's go ahead and tap on, on there. And when you tap there, you're going to have some wallpapers that are set by default here on the app. And you go click there. Uh, you can add it to work mode, all mode, or cancel work mode. And there you go. Now you have it in work mode. If you go to work mode so switch like that uh, the only negative thing that I find about the wallpaper backgrounds is that they all look uh, a little bit dark you know they don't look bright and beautiful uh, how the uh, the thumb wallpapers are they always gonna look like that a little bit darker but if you if you type of people that like apps like that wallpapers to look like that you might like it as well might not bother you but you can also get pictures from your Zedge app or from your gallery as well so if you have pictures in your gallery that you want to choose from you can also do that as well let's go ahead change the wallpaper to something road related like right there that's very road related and of course you could go ahead and move the camera there boom boom work mode and there you have it and that's it um, over here of course you could turn on or off the next lock screen here uh, you can also see your meetings when there's a meeting coming up you can also see it in your lock screen so when there's a meeting or a text message you're gonna see all those messages here on the lock screen which is very cool as well let's go slide up go up and that's it like you see there this app is very very simple here you got an advanced mode. Uh, you can hide apps from appearing, ever appearing on there on the lock screen. Or here you got manage calendar cards. Here you can go ahead and set up what calendar you want um, for it to appear on the on the lock screen and show SMS. Make sure you have it selected on. That way, when you receive SMS and you got missed SMS, 
uh, you're gonna see it all here in your lock screen which is kind of cool it works very nice so guys that is it this app is totally free so I see no reason why not to try it um, but keep in mind it might still be in beta I, I don't know but I think it's still in beta uh, there are still some things they can improve like for example give us an option to to make the picture look uh, completely clear or dark or control the level of darkness however you want to uh, control the level of the wallpaper um, other than that I think this app works pretty good this lock screen works pretty good and it's totally free so I'm gonna leave a link in the description that way you guys can go ahead and try it yourself till next time guys